Hi, I'm class 11 at Sunday 5 from Indian Primary School. This lesson is Differential Equations, Chapter 1. Separable First Order Differential Equations. So for this time, we have ODE, which is the Ordinary Differential Equations. And the other, which is PDE, which is Partial Differential Equations. So this lesson will focus on this ODE, Ordinary Differential Equations. Well, for this ODE, well, just those normal kinds, which right now we have the first method, which is separation. And for this kind of separation, it's for the first order differential equations. So let's take a look at these differential equations. For the f all of these, you'll realize that there is a y prime. Let me just tell you that y prime is actually dy dx. So first, which is the y prime plus x squared y, and this is equal to x squared. So for this, y prime we can just write it as dy dx. So for this dy dx, so move this to the other side. So this x squared, first here we can factorize the x squared, so here's a 1. And then plus the y, but remember, plus y go to the other side become minus y. So it will be like this. And then after that, for this dy, okay, we can divide this to the other side. Which we actually can have like this, am I right? Okay. So for this, 1 plus, I mean 1 minus y, so you need that negative. And this will be a long 1 minus y. So for this, which equals, so x squared and this thing, x squared is a x cube. So we can have it like this. So we can, well, actually, best is to write it in the explicit form. You can write it implicit if you want, but just to tell you that this, we actually can write it in the explicit form. So negative, both sides times a negative, then a bond. So e to the power, e to the power. So plus, okay, yeah, plus is actually times. Which we have like this, and then negative y come here. This will go to the other side. So this will be a y that is a 1 minus c3 and e to the power of negative 1 over 3 x cubed. So this is the answer to the first question. Okay, take a look at this. Okay, so this is the first question. So, so far I go for this first question. Okay, yes. Okay, next up is for the second question, which is the x y prime plus y cube 
and this is equal to x y q. So y q we can put it to the other side. For this we have the one third because here we need a three y and this will be the long the one plus b y and we have like that so right now we can have both sides times a uh, three and then we can also e to the power
So again, plus in the power deck here times. Then after that, move this one to the other side and both sides times one third. Okay, and this is what we can get, right? So this can be our answer. Which is the y. And remember, this is called the explicit form. So this is for that third question. And for this third question, you will realize that it's actually something like those first and second question. Okay, so next which is a bit different is the fourth question. So, so far I got this third question. Okay. For this fourth question is y prime plus xy and this is equal to 6x square root y. So again, it's actually the same thing first. Move the xy to the other side. Then you also need to remember to change the y prime into the dy dx. So this also can factorize the x. So actually right now for this part, you can divide this to the other side. So what we have can be like this. Then at this point, you realize that we actually cannot... Okay, actually we can continue, but we need to use that substitution. So right now for this, you can start them in. And after that, you will realize that a U we can simplify. Okay, here we need a negative because that this is a negative u. So we can on both sides divide the negative 2. Mm -hmm. 
So both sides we can either the power. So again for this plus it can be the times. Then after that we can find what is u. And this is my oh wait. So okay. And this is my answer. Okay, so for these questions, and also don't forget to sub them back. So what we have is like this. Okay, so this should be your final answer for that y. So for question 1 all the way to 4, most important thing is that you need to know just using a y prime we can't find it. We need to change the y prime into dy dx. And then you also need to remember when you put this to the other side, we have to factorize. Like the first question will factorize that x squared, divide the remaining to the other side, which actually the leftovers y part. Okay, actually these are all similar using that method, and after that you just find y. But for the fourth question, it's actually something special. You ever realize, like at this part, we don't use the partial fraction. We also don't use the integral by parts, but we use substitution. For some questions, even after substitution, we might need to use other things. Or sometimes even that you cannot solve it anymore. Okay, so for all of these four questions, are you clear? Okay, so here we end our lesson here. Okay, if you like our videos, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for your watching.